living good, I've been living good Rolling through my hood, understood Just a youngin' in this bitch up to no good Welcome to episode 2 of my random axe cape on old school runescape so in these clips I have for you guys today is a lot of slayer and I am still trying to get the slayer helmet so in the first few clips right away I got the 70 attack which I needed for the whip and I camped at the spiders in the stronghold in barbarian village which was a fairly decent afk spot and uh, got that maybe in a couple of hours and had to go woodcut for a long time because I was like a mil short and got about like 600-ish magic logs and uh, I was able to buy the whip then. And after that is still just a lot of Slayer. I think in the last episode I started at 54 and uh, now in this episode I'm in like in the 60s or something so I don't want to say the exact number since you'll, you'll see it in the clips later on. So I'm still trying to go for the Slayer Helmet, like I said. Uh, I'm I'm like 40-ish points short still of the Slayer Helmet. I had to unfortunately cancel a task the other day because it was Shades. And for, for whatever reason, I don't really understand why the Shades give you like one Slayer XP when they have like 100 plus HP. And then also you get like 10 combat XP the whole time you kill the shades. I, I don't really understand that. They should probably maybe like change that. Um, I don't know if that's... Uh, honestly, I think it's pretty stupid. I don't know what else to say about it. But I guess it's there for a reason. Um, or they just... I don't know. They, I guess they maybe forgot about it and don't feel like changing it. I, I have no idea. But uh, I feel like they should eventually change it so you can get normal XP at the shades. So that's the second time now I had to cancel my task because of the shades. So I could have had about 400 and like 25 points around that if I didn't have to cancel those two tasks. So that's kind of unfortunate, but right now I am on a blue dragon task and which kind of sucks because I'm getting tasks that are a lot more difficult for my level and it's taking a lot more time but at the same time I am getting a lot of money for the blue dragon since I think I, I started with 80 or 98 and I still have about like 87 to go so that's gonna be easy 400 500k around that I think uh, one inventory is like 81k and then I think I killed 13 in a trip because um, I have like potions and stuff and I don't want to drop them so hopefully the clips are done um, I feel like they might be very soon so I'm just going to talk over my stats right now. It's not, I guess it's fine. So I am at 74 attack, um, close to, not really close to 75, but when I do get 75, I guess I can use God Swords and uh, a te uh, Tentacle Whip. Uh, I, I think it's kind of useless to use a whip at my, that whip at my level because I'll lose the whip and you keep the Kraken Tentacle, which I, I think it's kind of backwards that you don't keep the whip and then, um, and I think the Kraken should just disappear after, after the uh, 10k hits. That's just my opinion. But um, they'd be kind of nice to get that, I guess. And I can put it on my whip whenever I want to. 65 strength and then also 65 defense, which are up there now, I think. They were both like 55 in the previous episode, so I got them both up 10 levels each. And they're fairly close to 66, and then 70 HP, I'm 57k away from 71. And I got, I think I only got one range level, and or maybe, maybe even two, not entirely sure, but I'm 21k until 60. I guess it would be kind of cool to get 60 to have the red dragon hide instead of the blue. Prayer is very close to 45, I can literally just bury one bone of the, the dragon bones to get 45. Um... I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that, though. A few metric levels. I think I was at 40 or 41 and got it up to 45, which is okay. I do really need to train magic and range still to get those higher up. And then Slayer, I think it was from 54 to 62, and I'm 10k away from 63. So I've been grinding out Slayer a ton. And it's not like RuneScape 3 where you can get like 100k Slayer XP a task or anything like that. This is like really slow, so it's kind of hard to adjust to it and like realize how slow slayer is on old school 
One skill I'm really not looking forward to do is uh, room crafting because, you know, it's normal room crafting, not rune span or anything like that in old school. So that's going to be like 2k XP an hour, not really, you know, like maybe the max 20, 30k I think an hour. I'm not entirely sure, but I know you make it like a crap ton of money. So my g current goal still is to get my... Uh, Solar helmet, so you can see I have a black mask. I decided to buy it, and um, I get like a 15% bonus when I am doing my solar task, which is nice. And uh, max hit right now is 22 with this. And um, combat is 84, so I need one more combat level until I can use uh, that solar person down there at the stronghold. I'm not, I can't remember, I can't remember the name, but that, I think that'll be good for me because I'll get more slur points I think. I believe you get 10 slur points a task with her down there if I'm not mistaken. And then, um, did I get a woodcutting level in this video? I feel like I might have or it might have been in the last, uh, nope it was in this one so I'm 100k away from 81. Um, whenever I'm just like AFK and I feel like I need to do something on old school, I just go to the magic trees and just woodcut. I think I did a little bit of woodcutting in this video. I only got 84 logs the last time I woodcutted, so it's not really no, nothing impressive really. I only have 50k, 64 lobsters left, about or like 74. And then a good amount of runes. Uh, I've been keeping the runes for my slow task lately. 510 nature runes purely from drops from Slayer, so that's fairly good. I'm going to take out some of these items and price check them for you guys because I've been keeping up, keeping my Slayer tab, tab like full, or I can't really talk right now, but I'm trying to keep my Slayer tab drops and not sell anything, so which is why my cash is very low because I've been buying a lot of Amulet of Glories and I kind of lose profit from them. Got the Dragon Defender as well, I'm just going to put that on. And then here is the Slayer tab. So these insold heads, um, I think is for Zaya. I'm not entirely sure. I've never been there before. And I think these were released when Zaya came out. So I'm just going to keep these. I, I'm like 90% confident that th this is for Zaya. So I'm just going to keep them. They're not super expensive. I think the demon heads are like 10 or 11k. Never mind. Wait, can you not sell these? You can, okay, it's 6.9k, I don't know why I said it's active. Um, so I'm just going to take out everything but one. No, you know, I'll just take everything out. I'm going to probably sell this off camera so I don't, like, waste any of you guys' time just selling this stuff on video. Um, take it all out. So I sold my Slayer tab before, as well before this Slayer tab, so I have, like, I think it was in the middle of the video I had a 1 mil or 1.1 mil Slayer tab that I had to sell because I needed money. And this tab is 905k, let me take out that combat potion real quick and get something better for it. So do I have any more runes I guess, no I'll, I'll take out those magic logs, so it'll be close to 1 mil now. 997k or 990k, not bad. So I'll be back up to one mil from Slayer, you know, drops and stuff, and then just the wood cutting. So that's not bad at all. Um, I'll probably just sell it after I'm done with my green or blue dragon task, which I'll have about maybe 300 to 400 k from that. But I'm gonna have a comparison to my levels from my previous video up on the screen right by these right now for when I talk about talk for my outro. So this is gonna be it for my. Uh, Second Rotomax episode on Old School RuneScape. You guys do not know how much I want to say Rotomax Skiller because I've been doing that for a long time for on RuneScape 3. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can leave a like on the video. You can subscribe to the channel to never miss another upload. I will be trying my best to upload daily, which will be more of RuneScape 3 content. But once I get more uh, progress on Old School RuneScape, that's when I'll also upload more old school skate videos so i'm going to try out daily videos maybe like three or four a week hopefully i can do that but i guess we'll just have to wait and see if i can actually do that it's just something i want to do really 
But that's going to be it. You can follow my Twitter. You can follow my Instagram down below. And then you can, you know, you can stay up to date with me on there. But that's going to be it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.